<laughs> Welcome back, guys. We are here with uh, session eight of the group one of Shadow Walking, and uh, I believe last time we had a plan that was completed. Does anybody remember what it is? Because I didn't see anybody write it down. Uh, it is written down, I think. Um, actually, maybe it's not written down, but I do remember it. I see check. So I can only yeah. imagine that that means that a plan has been agreed upon. Yes, the plan was agreed upon, supplies were obtained. As signified by the other check. <laughs> I think the general, what we have that is passing for a plan uh, goes as follows. Um, we approach uh, Rufus, we tell him he's being recruited for the Super Awesome League. Uh, and he should just come and step into the limo and talk about it. Uh, here, put this jacket on. It's really awesome. You're going to join our team. Uh, we knock his ass out. And then we're going on an epic road trip into the unknown, which I think is taking us to Boise and around Tier. Um, and doing a couple crossings to end up in Calfree. But that is about as far as we have staked out uh, actual planage. Yeah. There was some discussion. We have air tanks that the guy can survive on, and we were thinking about bringing a bunch of them and talking about being a scuba group, but I think that would need two cars to be believable, and I think if we get two cars, once this thing turns into Mad Max, whoever is not in the super awesome death mobile is going to be killed. I so, also I jury-rigged it, so it only needs a total of four tanks. Two for the first set, two for the second. So, I guess uh, we we go and we bait them now. Anybody Are you guys remember what uh, what day it was? It should be well. If we fast forward to when everything's ready, um, you know, all our preparations, it'll be Friday. Is that what you if guys I'm want to do? Well, there's there's a couple things that we need to consider. You know, just up front. So right now we've been doing all of this going on the assumption that we're just going to drive straight through, but that may not be the case. Uh, if these checkpoints are easy and it's just, hey, I just have to full one piece of equipment, um, then it's no big deal and we can drive all the way through and yay. Um, but if things are hairy or these checkpoints are a lot harder to get through than we think they're going to get through, I have lots of tricks at my disposal, but those tricks are going to make me very tired. And I may not be able to get through three whole uh, episodes in one day. In other words, we may there's a possibility that we may not need to stay a night in Boise or something like that. So we should have some kind of plan for what to deal with Rufus uh, other than keeping him slabbed out for two days. I mean, can you take some like uppers, some drugs? No, it's not going to help. Like I said, if everything is easy, it won't be a problem. I'm just saying I don't know that everything is going to be so easy at all of these checkpoints that we can make this all in one stretch. Well, how is anybody supposed to know that? We don't. That's just, that's what I'm saying. It's it's a big unknown, and I'm just saying let's just let's just knowing that this is a big unknown. There's a decent chance, maybe not a huge chance, but a decent chance we may not be able to do this in one haul. All right. Um, if that happens, I'm pretty sure we can find a discreet place to uh, park the car. Yeah, it's more about what do we do with Rufus for now this expanded time. Yeah, I know. We uh, we can, uh, I mean, we have, what, five slab? I mean, I don't know. We can we can work that out when it comes to it, but it's, it's not the sort of thing which I think we need to spend an, a large amount of time preparing because... I think I would rather go on without resting and you can sleep in the car rather than stop somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't really work that way either, but um, if you oh, don't I... want to prepare for it, then don't then don't prepare for it. Other than at least throw some restraints in there in case we if he, there's times where he's going to have to be awake because otherwise you're going to kill him. If we I have him. I have restraints. All right, uh, are we uh, ready to roll? 
Yeah. That's up to you guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. So, uh, for oh. for my knowledge, are you planning to to jump in the limo and just go? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go pick up the limo, presumably from the uh, workshop, and uh, I'll uh, I'll drive it and go pick up. Uh, I believe it was gonna be Lark and Splatter in the limo. Do I get to be eye candy? Please tell me I get to be eye candy. Well, uh, if we. I was thinking that we had uh, Nix in the vehicle with us. Who? I can You know. Maybe a bit more appealing to get him into the vehicle. All right, uh, I, I sent a message to Nick saying wear something nice, and I go to pick him up. Can we use party funds to buy me something nice? I'm definitely not going to be the eye candy on this run. Do you? I mean, don't you have something nice? I mean, I could always get something new. I won't be opposed if you want to use a cut of the party funds to get something new. All right. Do I have to name a nice outfit, or can you just name a price? Uh, I have a couple of questions. One, are you trying to get an armored something nice or just something nice? Uh, let's say armored. Why not? Okay, because there's actually a couple of, uh, armored suits and or dresses that you could get that actually have, like, like a Zoe dress. Stats and things. If you want one right. of those, they have, they come with prices. Those are very okay. expensive, and no, we're not buying you high fashion <laughs> armor out of the party funds. I mean, it's reusable, right? Yeah, let's just get a let's just get a quote for the price before we make any decision. So a a Berwick dress, which has eight armor and four capacity, is twenty three hundred new yen. What? Again, okay. no, we are not buying the nice clothes <laughs> out of the party fund. Uh, I think there's the Berwick nicer. dress is the definitely nicer options. The what about Zoe? Silver, the Zoe yeah. line is eight thousand five hundred. Yeah, I think you should get that. All right. And this would be something that you will have to take a couple of days because they are custom fit. Well, presumably the last we had was Wednesday, you know, because I had to wait a couple of days to... Yeah, yeah, he can get it in, or she can get it in that time. It's just, you know... And if you got the money to pay for it, then by all means, go ahead. <laughs> I've got clothes which change pattern. I just make them look like a suit. Like the T-shirt with the tie on it. All right, so you getting the moon silver? Do I get party funds or no? Because that's a big question. No. Uh, I I have no. Problem I mean, I want to hear consensus. Whiplash. Okay, that's one to one. Whiplash thinks it's important for the job. Yeah, sure. Then get a, get a non-armored yeah. one if it's coming out of party funds. But you should have something nice for job meets and all that. So that should be something you already have. No, this is like a fancy, fancy dress. This is not like a yeah. So uh, dress. use this out of party funds, and later it comes out of your paycheck. Yeah, I mean, we were gonna split up the party funds anyway. Presumably, we didn't use all the starting funds. So I think you know what eighty five hundred. That's within what his split would have been. Yeah, if it's like that, then totally. I mean, you guys have spent fourteen thousand new yen of your your upfront so far. What was the upfront? Yeah, if you're paying it, if you're paying it back, then I have no problem with that. All right, um, so you should just get it. Let's go. All right, so it's uh, what am I getting? That's that's up to you. There's a couple of different high fashion armor. It's called the Moon Silver. Was the really nice one. All right. That depends upon how much you want to spend. Let's go Moon Silver. Why not? Right, Why does that have to be armored? Are we expecting him to get shot at by Rassel, bro? Well, uh, if things go south, you know, it's better to have it than not. It says for a uh, do we have time? And it glows. Do I mean, who do, do we have time to see if uh, we can get Kami to do a search on? Uh, we settled on what the 49ers uh, we settled just to see on who the in southern calvary uh just to figure out who the team's head recruiter is and just some full of mil some information regarding that just so i have to use in the conversation with them yeah i mean the information would just be whatever we come up with probably because it's not written But I figure we still have to at least do the search and, you know, whatever a random name generator says. 
Yeah. I mean, the bigger question is how how are you planning on approaching him and where are you going to approach him and where do you think he is going to be? We have a limo. We have a jacket. I mean, you were going to send that email and make it seem like it was from the organization, right? So think about the, think about this, right? Like if you get a random email in your thing that just says, hey, meet some guy here at 5 o'clock, you may or may not go. The way it was um, portrayed to me is that he would do it to make it seem legit. Like, you know, it'd, it'd have the authorizations, all that jazz. Is that correct, Kaimi? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what... <sighs> We're going to have to have a plan so that Lark can talk to him. The win here is going to be Lark convincing him. I can provide fake backup documentation, but the win is still Lark. It is not me constructing something that will just mind meld him into showing up and getting into a, a, a limo because people don't, you, you, you respond to emails like, okay, they're assumed bullshit. You know I mean? It, like from people you don't know, like that's not going to convince him to do anything. So the question is, where are we going to have Lark and Nick's physically standing in front of him to spill out the bullshit? We don't even know what his schedule is. We don't know where we're going to approach him. The way I remember it is we were, like, going to send him an email, say, you know, meet our representatives at, you know, X location on X time, and uh, and then a lark will, you know, approach, and will have the proper, you know, documentation, and be like, hey, you know. There's a link that was just dropped in the, the chat here. Uh. Uh, the way I was thinking about it is I give him a call being, you know, get him on the phone and talking to him, and then say, I've just sent you an email, and that actually gets him to read the email. And then go from there. Because we should be able to somehow find out his com code and all that. Yeah, it was on his my feed, I think. Oh my god. Like yeah, sounds, for sounds good to me. Okay, so when you call him, I am going to need to be within 100 meters of him. All right. So you, that means we need to know where he's going to be, so we have to figure out his schedule, get we can close look to at him, his and then... Feed. Me feed. Me feed, yeah. We can look at his me feed, you know, he'll be, he'll like, be like, hashtag Starbucks, and uh, we can go wherever he is. That sounds feasible. Okay, so 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 let me get say. So general gist is Lark's gonna call him. He answers. Uh, Lark says, "Hey, we have an opportunity for you. We like to speak with you. I'd, I'd like to sit around a limo to pick you up. Uh, where can we pick you up? We need to do this today. We need to keep it quiet. Blah 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 blah." And when dude starts doing searches to figure out if this guy is on the level, I will make sure that he absolutely believes he is on the level. Yes, um, and we need to figure out where he is before that and have you in position. But we need to not give him too much time to think about it or to talk to other people. Like, we're going to need to set up the meet, like, almost immediately after the phone call. So you're going to have to figure out a way to, to, to push him into the urgency. We just got to make it seem like the offer of a lifetime. Yeah. So there's going to be a, a need to be a lot of, of selling of it. But, yeah, so we should do this all Friday, I guess, when he gets out of class. Uh, you yeah. That, that was the plan as soon as he's done so it's perfect time you know the only other thing he would have planned I figured would be a party but if this sounds better than going to a party we should you know get him on the hook alright uh, so are we ready to roll yeah I mean, it's up to you guys this is, do you feel confident in what you are doing um, no, and I'm ready. Consulting with you, Rob, you said he was pretty active on his me feed. Yep. That presumably, you know, shows like, like what the stuff he does, where he goes, right? Yes, sure does. All right, so we can probably get you within 100 meters, kind of. So now here's a here's an important um, mechanics question uh, to Rob. Mm -hmm. 
Can Resonance Vale on his thing say, yes, this guy is totally a recruiter for that company, and will that cover his searches, or is this one of those things where I'm going to have to completely own his device and garbage in, garbage out his... So, if he was checking a specific thing, like, if I would allow you to Resonance Vale uh, Lark's comlink and have it, you know, be an illusion, where if he goes to look at Lark's comlink to see, okay, who is this fragger? That's one thing. But to Resonance Veil, the entire Matrix is a uh, is a completely different... Just got to roll kind of high. Yeah, you have to roll real high. Um, but if you want to, um, to guarantee a thing, you will probably have to hack and uh, do that kind of stuff. Because if, like, Resonance Veil is able to affect the entirety of your matrix. Because, like, if he goes to search, I want to Google, what was the name we came here? Douglas T. Walker. There's a lot of information that could potentially be out there. So, um, to cover all of it with a single resonance veil seems slightly unreasonable to me. Right on. I was thinking more in terms of just, of just, Changing so that if he went to the 49ers thing to look up their recruiters or something that he would see it. Or in the case of changing the comm link so that the comm link uh, comes from their official, like the, the number comes from their official site or something like that. Yeah, like would, like just changing one one simple thing. that. Yeah, I would be completely cool with you changing just about anything on the comm link. Like on, on Lark's comm link, not on like the greater mate because you don't know what he's going to search or where he's going to to hit like you don't know what keywords he's typing in that kind of thing he could just start searching you know 49ers uh recruiters he could do what positions are they looking for he could... all right quick question nix are you good with automatics uh pistols oh my god why can't you guys use automatics because pistols are cool you hold them sideways and stuff. <laughs> but unfortunately, they don't come in briefcases. I mean, I can default on it. Yeah, but I, I, it's not a good shoot your pistol. I, I was just thinking, you know, if he's not convinced, it'd be a lot uh, more subtle just to shoot him a few times with the gun briefcase and stuff him in the back. I mean, I can do magic on him. That'd do. All right. So we ready to roll? Yeah. I have an important question for you guys. You will be able to get the, the limo pretty much any time that day on Friday because I believe you paid him a large number of monies to to get it. Too much um, money. How are you intending on shooting him tonight? Like, where's your what's your knockout plan? Because this is going to be one of the situations where we like, have that stealthy jacket. Remember? Okay, I just I didn't want surprise gas grenades from underneath the seats. Yeah. Um... I will give Nix one of my uh, neurotoxin gas grenades just in case. Though. Okay. We. The the second thing. It's I in my purse. Is, you just keep everything in there. Um, the second thing I'm going to need from you guys is a, if you are intending to go like from pickup, let's go run some borders. What are you bringing with you as far as gear? Because again, this is a situation where crossing borders with Five assault rifles is not going to be looked upon kindly. Um, in so the limo, right we're probably not going to... Yeah, um, there's going to be uh, presumably limo gear and then driving gear, because we're switching cars. So, I mean, limo gear, just whatever we carry on us, probably, because we're giving the limo up. Who is in total going in the limo? I'm driving. Lark's in the back, Nix is in the back. Yep, if you guys could just write some of that stuff out on the table. Do we have room for any of the larger drones, or am I going to be stuck to scouting with my smalls? Well, it's a seven-seater car, I believe. Yes. So a helicopter will fit. That's what you're saying. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I don't have anything larger than a large... I'm probably not going to bring the large. So, like uh, one large, two mediums, and four that I could fit in the bag. 
So the the problem you're going to run into is then if somebody goes to knock on your door and say, hey, can you uh, roll down your window, they're going to see a combat drone in the back seat. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, all weapons will be concealed. Weapons are concealed on two of them. But you would still have a, a roto drone just kind of like hang it out in your back seat. So, um, I don't want you guys bringing anything in the car that you can't hide on your person. Okay, scout drones only then. Um, we are using two cars, correct? <laughs> we settle with one because it's easier to get away. I mean, I'm okay with all of you being in my car as long as you don't, you know... Um, You know, fuck it up. <laughs> like, only carry stuff you can conceal. No, leading in the car, got it. Um, so, am I missing anything? Two oxygen tanks and scuba mask in the trunk. P5, which is my drone, concealed in the rack in the bottom of the car. Um, and then the stuff we have on us. Do you just want, um, illegal gear, or, like... Things that will be... questionable. How questionable is Psyche? Not at all, it's not restricted. Okay. You're just a drug addict. And reagents? Not restricted either. So let me let me ask you this. So this is a cost benefit analysis, right? I I can guarantee that he is fooled and um that he'll absolutely get in the in the car quietly, but again, that might cost a lot. And if it and if I Go for guaranteeing that to happen. Uh, we should probably not take off today. We should probably give me some time to rest before we go. All right. Can you nap in the back? How long um, do you rest? So it depends on how much. It depends on how much I have to do. Um, My car also has amenities high. Yeah, I can. I mean, I can get some. I can get some rest as long as I have some time before the first border. As long as I have like an hour or two before we go to the first border. Oh, we'll easily have that. Because after that, my plan, my plan, it won't allow me to rest again until we're either through or we pull over for the night. Um, because I'm my plan is to summon a big badass fucking crash sprite, uh, like risking some physical damage and doing it, and then casting static veil on him so his thing doesn't, uh, his Overwatch score doesn't uptick. And then I'll have a giant bruiser that can power through those things with me bringing down their firewalls. All right. So I had previously discovered a location near the campus where we can do the subtle car switch, right? Uh, I believe so. As long as you're not in a situation where people are chasing you. All right. And so um, can I prepare and put my car in that location? Sure. Um, you know, I can, I suppose I can remotely control it, drive to that location, uh, lock it and all that. Um, and then I go and get the limo. I think I'm just, I think I'm just going to try, I, I think I'm just going to try the light touch approach on here because we shouldn't need the overkill. And if it doesn't work, we can always snatch him. I'm hoping Lark is a good liar. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping too. Because if, if you sell the thing, then the guy's not going to go digging really, really hard. But if you don't sell the thing and he goes digging really, really hard, it's going to be hard for me to stay on top of that and not let him find anything out. All right, so are we ready to roll? Can I go pick up uh, Lark and Nix? Well, I was thinking, could we send him a link to a doctored website that has the information we wanted to say? Uh, it, 
take a little bit of a little bit of doing, but you would also need um control over his comlink to force him to go there. Well, no, not to force him to go there. We send him an email. I talk to him. I send him an email. Here are my credentials, and it'll have the web page. So he'll, you know, if he wants to check out my credentials, there they are. Yeah, people don't fall for that now. I don't think, or, or, or some, some do, but that, that sounds like a good way for you to get my World of Warcraft account. <laughs> yeah. Total real account at AOL.com. Yeah. No, it's Fun cool. We'll, just, we'll, we'll try the light touch. Just sell him with the bullshit, and if uh, if it doesn't work, we will just snatch him. He's not. I don't think he's going to be too hard to get. Nix, what sort of magics do you have to aid in uh, obtaining him? I mean, I can hurt him. I don't want you to hurt him. I mean, can you like put him to sleep? No. All right. Well, I mean, I think I can do illegal magic. I think uh, I think we have enough at the moment. Uh, Lark's a pretty good talker. We have a fairly good decker. We have means to knock him out as long as he puts that jacket on. I mean, uh, all right. So I, I put the jacket, you know, in the back of the limo. Presuming Lark will uh, get in the back of the limo with Nix. Are we ready to roll? Well, I guess we need to figure out where he is right now, and something should come with me uh, to go be near him. Can someone check his me feed? Yeah, I'll be with uh... Yeah, he's uh... Hey, me. You guys said you wanted to do this shortly after he got out of class, so he's in Magical Theory 100. Alright. Has he talked about what he's going to do after class? He's in Magical Theory? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's 100, so... This kid awakened? He's probably just doing it for the credits. That would be a really nasty surprise to not be anticipating. Is the uh, is the professor hot? I mean, do you want to hack into the school to find out? The... I don't think you need to hack to know who teaches the class. I can just Google my professor's names and it says what classes they teach. Yeah, but... So it's one of those things like, you could go up to the host and like go into the host and, you know, exchange marks with it and be a visitor and you know do a quick look to find out who the the teachers are sure you could you could do that if you didn't mind going about it the legal way all right i guess i'll just pass i mean um i was just curious if he was taking it because of the hot professor and <laughs> it would have been you know that is, <laughs> dude, roll me your edge real quick let's let's see what happens roll you edge yeah just roll your edge attribute real quick okay what is that like? Oh, whatever seven. your edge attribute is. Oh, so like it's three. Yeah. So there is definitely a uh, a post on his me feed about how um, the teacher is wearing a uh, enticing outfit. We'll go with nice. All right, uh, are we ready? Don't put him in a good mood, but I wanna, I wanna go back to that. Did anybody actually check to see if he has an aura, like an awakened aura? Um, there is no have mention him? in his me feed about being awakened. And he strikes me as the type of guy who would brag about it. <laughs> what about like Unless his sports profile or something? Is there anything about? What position? Up. What position is he? Uh, he was like you're effectively a linebacker. Okay, so he's a big boy. What, like three hundred pounds? Uh, probably closer to like two. Because to my understanding, is the college guys are closer to like two fifty, and the the pros are where you really start to to get into the the modern day sumo football Americans. All right. Um, uh, does anyone else have anything to do? Oh, so so I, I just had a thought, right? So how we sell this? So Lark, when you call him, don't pretend to be the guy who is going to be uh, the person in the limo who comes to get him. 
uh, use a different voice, and I'm going to make you, like, uh, your comm link look like it's a... What's better than a Transis Avalon? Is there anything that costs, like, a million dollars? I mean, if there is, I don't know what it is, but you could totally spend half a second to Google most expensive comm link on the market and uh, make it look like that. Yeah, so you can he can actually be somebody that this guy might know. Like, we'll, we'll fake it to be, like, uh, one of the players or... Um, I don't think one of the players would be calling a prospect. If they wanted to, if they wanted to recruit him and they wanted to keep him quiet, I mean, it could be, it, it could be like the head of the organization or somebody that he would have heard of, so that the number on the phone and the name that he has given, if he goes and googles whatever, that guy exists. Like, uh, we'll make him believe that that's the guy who calls him, and that guy says, "I'm sending some members of my team." To come pick you up, I want you to come meet me, and then you know, then that right. makes sense why Lark and Nick's are fluffing him. You think you can do that, Lark? So, and so, do you want me to pretend to be uh, Chadwick Kennard, Mister Wrestle Bro? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be a secretary or something. Yeah, secretary sounds more reasonable. But again, if 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 the thing that I'm going to be faking is the com link, let's make the let's make that that thing I'm faking be so impressive that he is not gonna question. Well, I mean, it. when you call someone, it doesn't show your number. Like, this is so and so calling from their iPhone 25. <laughs> yeah. Well, Just, no, but you, but you get the caller, but you get the caller ID, and, and you know, kind of stuff. And so I don't know. Um, like so Caliban, my meta link basically. seems awesome. They're like Caliban. It's basically the comic version of the Excalibur. Or, not the Excalibur, the, uh... Yeah. Alright, well, I just, I just want to get rolling. Did we ever do the search for whoever the head recruiter is? You guys have time. You can find out who that is. And we can just, because I have the name here, it can just be Douglas T. Walker, so I don't have to Google somebody else. Right. All right. I like the idea of posing as a secretary for that first call. Um, more believable. And it is the 49ers we decided. Yeah, makes you know that's that's a team. Or can we just California. do a search for what team needs a linebacker? We already have a 49ers jacket. All right. I mean, it's a very nice jacket. Um, uh, I say, I say, uh, we use that jacket, you know, for the 49ers. Uh, he could even be a fan being from California. Well, there's a, a, a three hit search on whatever you guys wanted to search. I don't remember what we were searching. What were um, we just searching personnel? The name Douglas D. Walker. Yes. Sure. The figure, the figure out who the head recruiter was. Yep, you can get a, a three hits worth of matrix search on him pretty easily. Okay, so that's who will be calling, and that's who I'll spoof the caller ID from, and I'll make him have a, a Transis Avalon. That'll be nice in case he checks. Then who's the guy who's going to come and talk to him? I thought what I'm thinking is I'll be the secretary of Douglas T. Walker. I am calling to let you know of a opportunity. I have sent my constituent, a Aaron J. Woods, down to meet with you. If you would be so kind as to meet him, he should be in a limousine outside for your convenience. Sounds good to me. I'd buy it. Okay, so let me of run, run course, this the the downside of that is it's pretty high profile. A limousine showed up in front of class, in front of everybody, and this guy's getting in there. So no, no, I, everybody I knows he got into a limo. After class. He's a rich kid. It's probably normal. I thought he was going to go somewhere after class. So then we were going to get him. Also, it's unlikely right, that this is like other college campuses. You can just pull up right in front of the class. It'd probably be, you know, some sort of general parking area. 
You could tell him that you can have a, a limo if he if he uh, agrees to hear the pitch. You can have a limo there in an hour, uh, along with some representatives, and ask him where to meet him. You know, put it on put it on him to, to pick the location to meet and say you're just sitting you're sitting representatives. You don't have to say who they are. All right, that sounds good. All right, so what time of the day? Oh, a couple of questions. One, the first is, what time of the day are you you doing this? You going for the last class? Yes. Okay. Given as he's a total dude, bro, I'm going to make the assumption that his last class is probably at 2 o'clock in the afternoon so that he can get ready for a long night of partying. Definite nap before the night of partying. Exactly. Sometimes you got to go get the kegs filled up. There's a lot of pre party things to do. You got to clean up from the previous party. You got to get all the ladies together. It's a, it's a lot of work being this popular. Um,. The second question. We really I had, want to make a grab in the middle of the day. The second it's, question I have is who is going to be in there for sure? We said Nix and Lark. Anybody else going to be in the actual limo? I'll be driving. Okay. So we have Whiplash in the driver's seat. What is Whiplash wearing? Uh my synergist business line suit, you know, so I could feasibly be a driver. Just making sure you're not wearing, like, something silly. No. Nah. All right. Can Next we get one. him a driver's cap? You could totally get him a chauffeur's cap. Is that expensive? Like, No, it's a it's a hat. All so right. I think that's a lifestyle that can cover that. Uh, I get my chauffeur's hat. It's beautiful. I can't help but feel like, as a rigger, you're kind of like, uh... I definitely resent it. Uh, I think that riggers are often... Uh, Cat, you know, uh, what's the word? Type, typecasted as drivers. Uh, I don't appreciate it. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Stand up for your rights. Next question is, where are the rest of you going to be? I know Kaimi is going to be within 100 meters because hack him if I. Splatter yeah, probably... to drive Kaimi. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you guys going to be on campus or just nearby? That's up can, to Kaimi. Can think. they be within 100 meters and not on campus? Yes. Uh, I'm okay with just walking. If, if, if Splatter can be my um, be on standby in case for any reason anything goes in trouble, I probably would fit in looking like a grad student just walking around campus. On that case, uh, Splatter, is that cool with you? Yeah, that's fine. All right. What are you wearing? He's wearing uh, college grad stuff. What are you wearing? That's so inappropriate. I'm going to be wearing my suit, probably looking like her bodyguard or something like that. All right. You're wearing a ridiculously expensive suit. Great. Yep. Uh, and then finally, Thunder, where are you going to be at? Probably at the main car that's going to take all of us because someone needs to like look over that I'd prefer not to be driving anything I'd probably want to be uh, in VR you can just wait at my car I'd probably want to be in VR in my drones on Overwatch okay so you're just going to fly around a bunch of fly spies all over the uh, the campus yeah just the two of them okay just like one in the air and one close by, making sure that I you don't can know. even put one. Like they're they're really small. You could put one in one of your teammates' pockets that they could carry with them in case they needed to get it inside a building or something like that. Why do you have a mosquito in your pocket? I collect bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I found that it's a rare species. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. Actually, who's who's the driver? I'll perch it on his shoulder. Uh, Whiplash is the driver. I, yeah. Kind of like plant that on him somewhere inconspicuous. I mean, I also have cyber eyes, so you can see through my eyes. I I got an idea. Yeah, not actually no, in the car, on the car actually. How about you give me? How about you give me one? And then since I'm going to need to be at a hundred meters of him, I'm probably going to try and stay with him and keep track of what he does. If I can get a if I can get a, a mark and do a snoop on him, then I can just listen to whatever he's doing with his comlink and kind of keep an eye on him between um, 
all that time and it, having a fly spy if i lose him or he's going across the campus or he takes off somewhere or something like that then i could just let go of it and have we get our eyes on him oh yeah i'll probably have eyes on him i'll do that and we'll probably have eyes on him all the time anyway because the second one's going to be high high recon all Watching right everything. so uh is that everything That's up to you guys if that's everything. I have my lists. I have my my villainous plots in mind, and uh, checking it twice. Uh, I uh, I don't have anything to do with Whiplash. Does anyone have anything to do? Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Since I'm gonna hack his thing and watch, I'm gonna put uh, Static Veil on myself at level two. Go ahead and roll that. You didn't want to do a giant crack sprite, right? No, not for this one. Uh, okay. That'll be after we have him. I mean, because I would love for you guys to get started and him to go to compile a giant sprite and have it just knock him out. <laughs> no, that's why that's I'm waiting uh, a little bit. All right. C congratulations on your... Uh... Uh, 11... All right, and if it makes a difference, I'm running Signal Scrub on my RCC as the one program I get to run. Sure. All right, so I'm I am static veiled and clean. Yep. Or, okay. Do you have uh, focus concentration it. or anything? I do focus concentration too. All right. Is just it for just? Uh, is it just Lark and Nix in the back? Of the limo? That's my understanding. So Lark is gonna once he's back there, that's when he's gonna start to change his face and voice. Sure. All right. Um I uh I um I'm all set. I mean Alright then. So shortly after two o'clock you're contacting the target? And if Lark wants to go ahead and roll those dice out me for that face changing, that'd be great. Would that just be disguise? I believe so. All right, and I get the... So do I get plus four for the face and plus four for the voice? Uh, the voice could give or you... Or is that impersonation, impersonation later? Impersonation, not to disguise. Okay. Oh, no, I think face is for impersonation, too. Let me double check. I think that's if you're impersonating a specific person, as opposed to just a uh, just a random dude that. Oh no! It is disguise. All right, so that's plus four for disguise. Uh, does this count? This should count as cosmetic, correct? Uh, sure. And, uh, the, 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 yep, that's it. Some basic math going on over there. I can add. Okay. Wow, that's a low number of successes for a lot of dice. Yeah. How are you feeling about that uh, level of success? Well, I mean, you just don't want to look like yourself, right? You don't have to look like a specific person, but I guess maybe he'll recognize that you're disguised. Mm. Uh, we'll see. Is that is that how it works? Or just see through it that you're not who you say you are? So it, it kind of depends. If, like, if you're trying to tell, uh, tell him you're somebody specific and you get two hits on your disguise, it's like, yeah, that's good enough. But, you know, maybe he will... Uh, if he beats it, he will see. It's like, ah, this doesn't... No, that guy doesn't have a mole there. You know, that kind of thing. 
right. it could be a, a subtle detail that you missed that cues him in. But for the moment, you're just being any kind of one <laughs> random person that he doesn't know. Yeah, I'm going to save my edge for the social parts a bit later. Okay. Tell him you got the mole lasered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want to wait around uh, where his class will let out. And as soon as I have eyes on him, uh, I want to spot his uh, comm link. Sure. You can easily spot his comm link. It is a... Uh... Oh, what's the name of the like rating five guy? Hermes icon. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and try to slap a mark on there, my own. Uh, hack on the fly. Not bad. Here comes a million successes. Okay. It has, uh, you have successfully marketed it. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so I think we are ready when you want to call him. Uh, let me know, and I will do the resonance fail as you call him. Uh, I take it that's the go? Uh, yeah, it's, it's on you guys. All right. I uh, dial him up using the metal link. Sure. You All right, here's. Here's the resonance fail. Uh, so I'm not happy with that level of success. I will go ahead and roll because this is important. No. Uh, ten. What level were you threading that up, by the way? Uh, six because at, even at six, it's only two fade, so there's no point in. <laughs> Doing anything less? What's the, the threading on that? It's, uh, by book, it's minus one, so with the adjusted, it's minus four. What about the focus no, concentration? Oh, what is the, it's data processing and in, in um, intuition. Uh, so four total. Yeah, intuition plus data processing is the opposition. I'm trying to, to find it because uh, let me roll my fade too. Yeah. No fade. So it's level minus three. Okay. So you got four hits on a resonance fail. Let me throw a note up here. Okay. And then Lark was making a phone call. Oh, I have to resist that, don't I? Yes. Double check. And you said it was... Uh... Data processing and intuition. Oh, shit. I'm making the shrug motion right now. Wow. Uh, hmm. Well, that sucks. Yep, that's a... I don't know what happens in this situation. So, I guess it's just going to come from a regular com link, not the... Not the um, the 49ers headquarters thing. Well, I don't think it's Bye. that big of a deal. Buy your butt off. <laughs> so, um, 
you are you are dialing, and it rings a couple of times, and then you will hear a uh... man. What kind of what is a douchey way for him to answer this phone? Yo yo yo. Yo yo, it's your boy Rufus. Yeah, somebody just fat fingered me on Skype anyway. Um. Okay, so. Um. So he will pick up the phone. And he's like, "You've reached Rough House. What can I do for you?" And I just meet you. Okay. Um. Good <laughs> afternoon. Uh, you just what? <laughs> good. I had myself muted. Uh, um, good afternoon, Mr. De uh, oh, I should do a voice for this so well. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Dennison. I am the secretary for uh, Douglas T. Walker, and I oh. was hoping we, for uh, Douglas T. Walker of the 49ers. I okay. was hoping that we would be able to arrange a meeting today. Um, we have an associate that should be heading your way. And uh, would be willing to say take you out to a um, late lunch, early dinner, uh, to possibly discuss some business matters, if you would be willing. Some business matters. What kind of business is this about? Um, we've seen your uh, how well you've been doing in uh, your sports, and uh, we would uh, like to discuss what your plans are once you graduate you want to go ahead and roll me a uh, a con roll in there and we'll see uh we'll see how much of your edge i can get out of you all right da, da, da. do i get uh first impression no because it's not i, I will inside. give you the option of giving it to you now or giving it to you later uh later okay uh but i will take uh well, he'll be meeting a different person, so can't I get it both times? <laughs> um, I'll give it to you this time. We'll see how uh, how well it goes. But presumably, if he I... believes he's meeting a different person, he he'd believe it was first impressions. But you have to sell that he's meeting a different person. Uh, well, it's, he's hearing a female voice now. Then he'll be seeing a male. So I think it would be pretty obvious. Hey, it's twenty seventy eight, man. I don't, don't judge. judge. <laughs> I mean, cyber uh, suits just... are pretty quick. <laughs> I don't get my suit bonus. I don't get pheromones. So that sure is don't. 15, 16, 17. So math. Fundamental. And this is Khan, correct? Sure is. And... Look at this smooth talker over here. <laughs> Whiplash is convinced that Lark was never real. <laughs> I mean, it could be that he is actually a plant from the corporation to try and, you know... Full all of you so that you can take this is actually money. just about getting a new recruit for the 49ers <laughs> before he was a shadow runner so it'll be like a oh damn and then he'll make a lot of other broisms like yeah 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 let's when we do this um we have a limo nearby just ready to come and pick you up when you're willing we do ask, however, that you keep this um, on the down low, so this way we have time to talk because my constituents would like to make a formal announcement before anybody else would like to make a formal announcement and not have it pop up. We would like it to be a surprise, uh, depending on what we come to agree on. Yeah, no... No problem, Doc. I won't. I won't say nothing to nobody that won't say nothing to nobody. Uh, I can have my limo meet you whenever you're willing. Just let me know uh, where and when, and I'll have them dispatched to pick you up. I just got out of class, bro. Like I, I ain't got nothing. I had a party tonight, but this sounds like a much better party, you know. 
Uh, we hope it will be. Maybe we can just get him drunk and passed out. Who knows? He might just take the slab if we hand it to him. <laughs> well, Lark does have the other dose of slab. Because we got six things of slab. Yep, and there's only five in the auto injector. All right. Um, you like to roll face, bro? Are you in? Are you guys in the back of my limo? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, can I, before, I guess while I'm there, can I pour the slab into one of the drinks? I believe it's injection, not ingestion. Oh, okay. So that won't work. No. Uh, I think my roll twenty crashed. So let me reload. Ask if he wants. He wants to do some heroin with you. <laughs> <laughs> Slab is injection. <laughs> Peer pressure. I mean, from the sounds of things, he's probably the one that does peer pressure. I think I think we should have Nix put it on him. Like, sit there and, like, talk him out and say, oh, you know, why don't you get inside? And, and Nix is going, oh, and goes up and, like, strokes his chest. Such a broad oh, chest. Let's yeah, hope this fits. Cool. And, get, yeah, gives him the jacket. I mean, that's not going to going to help get it into his bloodstream in the way that it needs to? Because it's, you know, it's still <laughs> injection? No, the ja the jacket. I said oh. It, oh, it, to get him to put on the jacket before he gets in the in the car, because then once the jacket's on, we ju it's just a push a button and he goes out. Um, Speaking of which, who has that button control? <laughs> oh, it's a wireless thing, so. Um, I mean, I guess you can have it, Lark. Woohoo! Well, it, it could just be a digital thing, you know, to just. Well, presumably there is some, you know, form of like privacy to it. So like a random passerby can't, you know, you have it silent if you if you want to do it that way. Yeah. Um, and I guess have it slave to Lark's comlink. Sure. Um. So the jacket is in the back of the limo with uh, Lark and Nyx. You could even have a little bow and stuff to put on top of it. And uh, he said it's okay to meet him. Did, uh, did he say where? Yeah, he said you guys could come pick him up right from the campus. All right. Um, he sounds hype. I assume we're not far. Uh, several of you are within 100 meters, and the rest of you are in a car that could be easily there within a large... Uh, within a large radius of the campus, within an hour. All right, uh, I guess we're on our way. Sure. I send him where, I guess, someplace that we can pick him up and yeah. estimate when we're going to be there, all of that, to uh, get him in there, hopefully not within view of too many cameras. You don't, uh, you don't mind if I start celebrating, do you? Uh, no. We, we hope to... <laughs> Be able to Don't celebrate worry, I'll, once I'll, I'll be cool. I'll be cool. I'll see you there. Okay. Drugs and alcohol. He may knock himself out for us. <laughs> no, this is bad. We we uh, hopefully he would think that this is a job interview that he needs to come and talk to somebody because if he gets drunk and then we pump a bunch of drugs in him, we might kill him. I mean, uh, I, don't know. I well, I, I'm still on the phone with uh, him. He's gonna say we. We would uh, hope that the uh, partying could commence after the business, if you don't mind. I love and, me a good uh, party. May... You guys paying for everything? Of course. Great. There I will see you there. Why aren't you guys here yet? <laughs> uh, my constituent is on his way, and then I send over the details. Can I get your number? Oh, uh, maybe he... once you come down here and see me in person. He... He's going to, uh, I'm going to roll some dice here. <laughs> He's going to seduce Lark right here. <laughs> so he throws about six hits of seduction at you. <laughs> I... <laughs> what, what do I roll to resist that? <laughs> well, in you are ill-equipped to handle his advances. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we never asked uh, about Lark's preferences. <laughs> well, it, you know, he said earlier that he was pretending to be some uh, some female secretary. So, 
if you want to roll <laughs> etiquette to try and uh, back yourself out of that verbal sexual assault, you are more than welcome to. I feel like this guy's going to misbehave so much he'll become suspicious that we still want to have the interview. <laughs> You know, something wow, like nobody's ever continued a call with me after this. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure lots of lady, lovely ladies have continued calls with him. <laughs> I mean, he still thinks he has sealed the deal as soon as he gets to the office. You know, you've talked him down to just, you know, coffee. <laughs> and to see where it goes. Well, I got him eager to come and jump in the limo, so that's what matters. I think you're starting to second think the plan, or uh, have second thoughts about the plan. I think you might want to run off with him. <laughs> I mean, he's an up, up and coming athlete, he's got potential ahead of him. Got to lock it down, put a ring on it. <laughs> Uh, so we're en route uh, to pick you him up. We're en route. You guys uh, have a spot outside the, the campus. There's only so many places that you can really kind of pull up to as far as like, you know, <clears throat> student parking lots, teacher parking lots, that kind of thing. Main entrance, visitors. Um, where, wh which of those would you would you like to pick him up from? Did he say where we should go? I mean, he would probably say the uh, the teacher's lot, because that is most likely the the least busy. All right, teacher's lot it is. Okay. So as you guys pull up, um, it's a Friday afternoon in the nice time of Seattle. And... Uh, Around, there's a bunch of people. Not like a crazy amount of people, but there's still some teachers, you know, finishing up their last class and some students also finishing up their last class or going to their next classes. It's 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And as you kind of drive around, you will see a whole bunch of people in a small pile, a couple of them wearing a couple of sorority girls and a couple of people wearing... Uh, what did I say the frat was? Alpha, beta, gamma jackets? I thought it was Delta, Tau, Deuce. Uh, I think that was the, the sorority. Okay. Um, including one, uh, one Chadwick Kendard, the wrestle bro. Oh my god, wrestle bro. Oh, Whiplash feels tempted to get his autograph. I mean, he is a local hero. He stopped a dangerous terrorist. All right, do we see the target? If you guys want to go ahead and roll some perception tests, we'll, we can see what you guys come up with. Nope, Nix doesn't see much of anything. Your dress is fabulous, though. So sparkly. I mean, it, it does literally glow. I forgot the Kimi and Swatter were on the uh, on the campus. So, can I get a uh, an witness. etiquette roll? I'm sorry. Can I get a witness? <laughs> I don't know. Preach on. Uh, can I get an etiquette roll from Kimi and Splatter? Just you know, fit in. Uh, righty. Do I get any uh, benefits for it being a college campus and I am college educated? Uh, I'll give you two for having college education. Okay. So that will be eight. Okay. 
Sadly, I don't get to throw that monkey wrench at you. Put it in my pocket for later. <laughs> so as you guys are kind of looking around, uh, Lark finally manages to um, to spot Rufus. More so, he'll notice that the the group of dude bros in jackets kind of parts, and you see him there like, yo, and totally pointing at the limo. And with that, we're going to take our first break.